today's video, we are going to start a Tumblr wrap in Canva mobile. I don't use mobile very often, but I've got my Canva app open here. I'm going to hit this plus sign here so that I am going to create a document and I'm going to hit custom size and I'm going to make it 9.3 inches by 8.2 inches. That's the size of a standard tumbler. So now I'm going to click elements and I'm going to search in elements for see what I can find here. Let's do a background. Um, we will do a background in gold, no, silver glitter. Silver glitter with dripping. Let's see. Let's see what we can find here. All right, so we've got some good ones that came up here. So I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to look. I have Canva Pro, so it does give a lot more designs than if you have standard Canva, which I do like. I did finally take the um, leap and went with the Canva Pro and I have been able to do so much more with this. But like I said, I'm not familiar with Canva Mobile. So let's try this one. We'll add this one in. So now I'm going to stretch it. Make it fit my entire Tumblr wrap size here. Make it bigger. All right. So now we'll go back and we'll add some more. Um, let's see what else we can add. How about a yeah wine glass? Let's try that. So I'm going to type in wine glass and I'm going to go to graphics again and let's see, this one's cute. I like this one. So we'll put that one in. Right. Whoopsie. Let me back that up because I don't want to crop that, but I am going to move it around a little bit and make it smaller here. Um, now I am going to go to uploads if I can find it right here because I actually uploaded a, a design that I made for Etsy that I really whoops go back here again add upload okay so um that I made for Etsy that I really like for this wine glass if I can find it here this one it says oops I got too many in there I don't want that one so I'm going to delete that one, delete this one there. Now I'll add the one that I want and it should be right here soon. Um, right here. It says, if things get better with age, then I am approaching magnificent. And I thought that's cute with this wine glass here. So I'm going to move that down. Move this wine glass over a bit, make it a little bit smaller. See if I can fit this right in here. It is nice. I do have the, um, I am using a, uh, like a pen for my phone. So it does make it a lot easier to use. I'm going to shrink this down. And... Hmm, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. I'm going to shrink that wine glass down a little more. See if I can fit it right in there the way I want it. Now, let's see. Move this over. Whoops. Let me move that. Move the wine uh, words. Make the wine glass a little more centered. Get my words back in there just right where I want them. I kind of like that. Now I'm going to try and add, um, let's see, go to elements again here. And I am going to add chocolate dripping. See if I can find something like that. Oops, chocolate drip. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. So I'll go to graphics. And what's, what's better with wine than chocolate, right? So I'm going to pick this one. 
and put it up here I'm going to shrink it down and then I am also going to duplicate it let's see copy okay and then paste it in and then I'm going to flip it I'm going to flip it here whoops I didn't know how to flip it on the let's see here let's see if I can figure out how to flip it there we go that's not what I wanted, but it's good enough. Um, hook these together here. Ooh. Let's see if it's hooked together in the right spot. No. Go a little bit. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's see if I can hook it together. And make that chocolate look just right. There, so now I've got for my tumbler. I don't like that though, so I'm gonna delete this. I don't like that the way it is. So see if I can stretch this out. And then I'm gonna move my wine glass and my words because I'll have my chocolate dripping down there. Ugh, grabbed the wrong thing here. It's not as easy to do it on your phone as it is to do it on a computer which is fine so it's still good though move my words over here oh that chocolate drip is right in my way Hold that up. there that looks pretty good so now i'm going to download this and then i will see what we get so now when I went to download this, I hit the download icon and I have selected PNG because we want it to be a PNG. I've selected transparent background. You can get that with the Pro. And I also moved my size up to get a good crisp image. Now this is going to increase um, the size of the document. So it is going to be quite larger than it would be if you would leave it um, where it was set. But I, I like to have a nice crisp image. So now I'm gonna hit download and we'll see what we get. I actually have four printers in my office. This is three of them. I stack my printers. Printers nowadays are pretty light. My sublimation printer is on the bottom. Then I also set up an EcoTank color that I use for regular printing. And then the top one I just use as a scanner. Okay, on the left, you can see my image after printing. I used HTV Rant 125 paper for this. I hand trim my images because if I Typically, if I use a paper cutter, I end up ripping it. Uh, for some reason, this ink and paper does not like trimmers, but that's just my opinion. You can see my blank there in the background, and you're also going to want heat-resistant tape. I use coffee filters to clean my blanks when I can, and for these 20 ounce sublimation ready tumblers, that is what I used was a coffee filter. And you can see my tape dispenser there with my heat resistant tape. Um, so I put the image on my tumbler and I pull the seams together. After lightly taping, I put a shrink sleeve around and then I am using a heat gun to shrink it into place. A couple other things that I wanted to mention is you're going to want either some good hot pads or some heat resistant gloves. Um, so I'm using these heat gloves and I also have pulled out a mat for cooling because they come out extremely hot. So be very careful. Now it's time to preheat your oven. I am actually using an air fryer. That's what I use for my tumblers. Works very good for me. This is the one that I have. I took the basket out and I put some silicone sheets in the bottom, some silicone wraps just to protect my tumbler. And I have this preheated to 385 degrees and then I set my timer for four minutes. When I start my tumbler 
in the air fryer, I do seam down. And then on my last minute, I rotate and have seam up for the last minute. I like to reveal my tumblers while they're still hot, so be very careful. I do not use tools because they will scratch. So just very carefully, I am unwrapping these with the heat resistant gloves. Well, here it is. I did a mock up on the left and on the right is the actual tumbler. I got not the greatest picture of it. I've got some reflection from the window, but as you can see, it looks perfect. So I'm really happy with it. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and remember links will be below for items that I've used. Have a great day.